Hi everyone, my name is Nathan. I'm the owner of Accurate Leak Detection here in Naples, Florida. I've been diving pools and fixing pool leaks for over 20 years. I'm making this video to point out a huge problem in the pool industry that needs to be corrected as soon as possible. For those of you with ADD, let's jump right in and point a finger directly at this plastic light housing. What's happening is these new housings are cracking along the back where the conduit is glued into the housing. This failure can be easily avoided during installation with the understanding of why they are breaking in the first place. So I'm talking about leaks in pool lights. For those of you not in the pool business, let me explain that behind the back of the pool, there's a power wire running through a plastic conduit that's leaving the back of the housing, which leads to the breaker box. Now these lights run hot at 400 watts and need to be cooled by pool water circulating throughout the light housing. So behind the wall, the light is actually surrounded by water in a watertight housing, sometimes called a wet niche. In most cases, the PVC conduit actually has water in it too. It's in the back of the housings that these cracks happen. They're only visible by a scuba diver from inside the pool. Note the thin crack in the upper right. That's where all the cracks start, just as a tiny hairline split in the plastic, often hidden behind the big black star bolt. But these cracks are not just an isolated incident caused by poor workmanship or a bad backfill. These cracks are happening even if these housings are installed properly by manufacturers' recommendations and as quick as three years after the pool is finished. It's so common and widespread that on every pool I inspect for leaks, it's the first thing I look for. When you realize every pool built since 1998 has a plastic light housing, you can see the scope of this problem. Now I mentioned it's not a backfill problem or a bad installation. This is per manufacturer's instructions. But this is how it happens. When a new pool is built, dirt under the deck has to naturally settle over time. This is why underground pipes break under the deck. The dirt settles down over the years and brings the pipes down with it. Except one end of the pipe is set in the concrete wall where it starts to bend until it breaks. Engineers call it a cantilever beam. With pool lights, the same settling process happens where the conduit sinks with the dirt, but the stress in the conduit is focused to where the conduit is attached to the back of the light housing. Now the trick is the way the conduit is attached to the back of the housing. On an older metal housing like this, the conduit is threaded into the back of the light, giving the conduit a natural place to break. If the stresses get too great, the conduit cracks in the threads of the fitting, and the housing remains intact. On a plastic housing like this, the conduit is glued right into the back of the housing, without a weak link or any way to relieve the stress. Now the conduit is stronger than the housing, so when the dirt settles, the entire back of the housing is stressed to the point of failure. Once the crack begins, it's not going to stop until the housing is completely shattered. That's one reason the split is so hard to fix. The crack is constantly growing and the plastic is splitting open wider and wider. The other reason it's so hard to fix is you have to work around the power cord with whatever fix you try. Prevention is very simple during new construction. Here's 50 cents worth of flex pipe that allows the conduit to shift and flex. Electricians sometimes use an electric whip. Either way, it's a cheap insurance policy for a widespread problem that can be an ongoing source of frustration. There are about four different kinds of plastic light housings, all of which crack in their own way. At the Pool Leak Academy, we sell a universal repair kit that we think is the best repair solution without draining the pool or without tearing out the whole light niche. It uses an underwater adhesive to glue a heavy gauge vinyl patch against the back of the housing, covering the crack. The sealant we use is called Bull Seal and has recently become repackaged as Mighty Seal Fix, but the old discontinued Bull Seal package is still seen throughout these videos. This glue sticks well but only if the surface has been properly sanded. One vinyl patch I tried to remove was so tough I needed pliers just to budge it. Combine this glue with a thick, tear-proof vinyl patch and we have the best repair I can think of. Later on in the second video, we go in-depth with actual underwater light repairs, but here we simply sum up the repair process briefly to see if it's something you want to try. First of all, any old epoxy patch has to be removed and the plastic has to be sanded really well with 200 grit waterproof sandpaper to remove the oxidation. This sanding is so, so important 
because the adhesive will not stick anywhere the plastic is not sanded well. The plastic conduit and the supporting ribs are filled in and smoothed over with a five minute quick set underwater epoxy so the vinyl patch can stay flat. The original crack is also filled in and smoothed over so the glue does not ooze out the back. Then a nine inch round vinyl patch is custom cut to fit around the wires and adjusted to cover the existing crack growth. I put on rubber gloves and unload the entire 10 ounce tube on both the patch and the housing. Now bull seal dries in 20 minutes, but it skins over in 5, and even at that point it loses its grab and becomes pretty useless, so you have to be quick. Here we have blue painter's tape to highlight the vinyl patch and keep the patch clean. With the tape removed, the result is a tough flexible repair that should last 5 years depending on how badly the light is splitting apart. It should buy enough time at least until the pool gets remodeled. After this video was shot, I've repaired more and more of these and I've gotten better at the prep work. For example, if any of these star bolts are in the way, a single hacksaw blade can carefully cut it into pieces until it falls away from the cord. But more importantly is the ground bolt and temporary removal of the metal ground straps that can be directly in the way of your patch. You see the big fat green wire is a ground wire to the earth to prevent electric shocks and all lights have them. By state code the bolt that holds the wire in is smothered in glue or encapsulated by an epoxy resin to prevent corrosion. These epoxy globs can look intimidating but the epoxy is not as tough as it looks and comes off fairly clean. As it turns out even the toughest glob of epoxy I ran into can be pulled off with pliers such as vice grips or chipped away with a screwdriver. Now you can remove the ground strap and glue the vinyl patch under the strap then rebolt the ground wire right back to where it belongs. So as you can imagine a lot of cracks run under these ground straps and as it works out they can be removed and replaced. Here the band is loosened up by first prying the strap from the bottom of the light and then bending the strap to pull it off the ground bolt. Here's a light that had a crack running right through the back of the housing. Both straps had to come off for the patch to fit. Now before we go I just wanted to show you how the ground bolt holds a wire tight in place. It's mechanically attached with a threaded bolt. It is sometimes necessary to have needle nose pliers to manipulate the wire and position it back in the hole where it belongs. So that wraps up the quick overview of the light repair. There's a 30 minute video that goes into great detail of this light repair with actual underwater video. Watch that before you attempt the fix. There's talk of consumer confidence in the industry and this little defect is going to make a lot of pool owners unhappy to the point where they wish they never bought a pool. Maybe we can make a small difference by getting the word out. Remember to give this video the thumbs up so it gets a higher rating and the word gets out faster. Certainly email it to everyone in the pool business you know. Thanks for watching my video and have a great day.